Are you going to leave to rescue Jerry this time? Absolutely not. I made a commitment to you and the boys, and I'm staying right here. And Jerry can fend for himself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right now, it just makes me crazy to think of Jerry in this house, talking to the boys, and telling them not to say anything to us. Look, Michael and Morgan are my stepsons, okay? And I'll protect them from anyone. Even my own brother, if I have to. I knew that. People said that he and Morgan were on the stairs, and they heard Jerry talking to my mother, and they heard so much about him, they wanted to meet him. Obviously, Jerry turned on the charm, and he made a game out of it with the boys, telling them that his visit was to remain a secret. Mm -hmm. I'm just glad my had sense enough to tell us the truth. Yeah. They need to know that they have to come to us with the truth. And their father. Which means Sonny's going to find out about Jerry's visit. Well, first, I'd like to know why Jerry was here. Um, you told me you two had a wonderful honeymoon in Fiji. It was great. <laughs> Was well, so I had a very nice surprise when we got home. I forgot to mention that Jerry stopped by. The children told you. Of course they told us. We teach them not to keep secrets. I'm sorry. Jerry asked them to keep quiet and I didn't interfere. Jerry was adamant. That didn't concern you at all? Jerry has never harmed a child. Okay, what about the people he's involved with? What if they're violent and they find out he has a family? Oh, Jerry would never involve us in any of his problems. Then why not just tell us? I wanted to protect my son. Mom, I want to protect him too. Okay, but there are limits. Well, put yourself in my place. Supposing Morgan grew up to be wonderful like Jackson and Michael made a mess of his life, would you abandon him? Or would you protect your child no matter what? Well, how is anything for my kids? Which includes keeping Jerry and whatever mess he's in away from them. I am so sorry. I was hoping to contain this, but obviously Jerry is in serious trouble. Did he tell you what he's involved in? No, but he's obviously running from something. He's had plastic surgery. What? He, he changed his face? His whole face is different, only his eyes are the same. You might very well have run into him in Siberia and not even realized it was your own brother. Well, how did he contact you? I saw him at the terrace on your wedding. Oh, I, I knew it. I was on the phone with Jerry out on the terrace. And I heard the music change in the background on his phone. So I hung up, I called out to him, and... Well, that's when you walked out. Well, I caught a glimpse of him as you and Connie were leaving. I chased after him. Oh, he tried to pretend he was some stranger, but a mother knows. Why did he come to the house? Well, he claimed he was leaving town and he wanted to say goodbye. And he also asked me if I would do something for him. Something about transferring funds, but he changed his mind. Well, Jerry might still be in town. I want you to call him and set up a meeting. For all Jerry's faults, he, he only wanted to protect you. He specifically asked me not to tell you that I'd seen him. Well, it's too late. I know. And I can't ignore that my brother's in town. He came to see you get married, Jax. That might not be the only reason Jerry's in Port Charles. He did not want to let you see him at the wedding because he didn't want to involve you in his latest troubles. No. There is no reason for you to go chasing after Jerry. There's just no reason. You, know you need to trust me on this. I need to find out what kind of mess Jerry's gotten himself into so we know what we're dealing with. You said you wouldn't do this, so how long till you're gone for two months? I don't think Jerry is a threat to us or the children, okay? But I want to be able to back it up just to be sure. Go ahead and make the call. This goes against my better instincts, Jax. Well, we have to get to the bottom of this. Jerry, it's your mother. I need to meet with you. Are you sure? I have a really bad feeling about this. Well, it's possible Jerry won't show. He's never been particularly reliable. Look, Jane, the reason why Jerry was calling so much to have help this year is because he wanted to stop Jax from marrying me. 
Jax has a bad track record with marriage. I have a bad track record with marriage. And I'm sure Jerry thought he was helping Jax by trying to break us up. Now, Jerry saw you both at the wedding, and he told me that Jax and you were so lovely together that he was very pleased. What do you want? Well, it pains me as well, Carly, but it's police business. I'm gathering information about the hostage crisis. I really need to deal All with right. this, Jane. I'm sorry. All right. No, no, no. I'll just head on back to the hotel. Please call me in five minutes. I'll call you as soon as I arrive. We have a picture of James Craig. We need as many of the hostages to ID him as possible. Yeah, that's him. And I hope the bastard rots in hell. Jerry? Well, hang on to the picture. It might trigger some memory of a person or a place that Craig mentioned. Why are you doing this? He's a criminal. Why do you care? Craig's gone. The hostage crisis is over. There's no evidence, thanks to you, because you detonated the briefcase, so why do you care? Well, clearly you are disoriented from the explosion. Right. You want the publicity. D.A. Lansing catches the man who blew up the Metro Court. Well, that's a little cynical. Even for you. Perhaps you can. We're not so different. You think so, Mr. One? Oh, we're both driven to pursue money and power, willing to eliminate any obstacle in our way. All you have are hired henchmen and a gun. What are you doing? That was a new shirt. Come here. Let's take a look at you. Oh. Ever get the paint on the paper? What is this, sweetie? Jerry. I know that you were expecting our mother. Don't let me chase you, Jerry. What makes you think you can catch me? Wow. What the hell have you done to your face? Well, you know, the old one was becoming a liability, so I opted for a new look. I rather like it, don't you? It's not funny. What did you do this time? Believe me, brother, you don't want to know. Why don't you just go ahead and tell me? Because sooner or later you're going to ask for my help, so why don't you just get it out of the way? No, no, no. You settled into a new life. You have a new wife. You stepkids. I wouldn't dream of interrupting your matrimonial bliss. Enjoy your family. I can take care of myself. Thank you. Oh. Okay, sure. Oh. Stop lying to me. And tell me what the hell you've done. On the next General Hospital, I'm busy. I'll happily leave as soon as I get what I came for. Let's sure smell the jury. You can't rescue me. You're my brother. Not anymore. Please don't hate me. I could never hate you. You're the mother of my child.